All right, guys, today the question is, what is Ark? Not to be confused with like the Ark of a Circle or Noah's Ark or an Ark of a Basketball as you shoot it into the hoop, but this Ark is for email. My name is Josiah Phillipson, and I am a consultant at Next Tech Consultants. We help small businesses keep the stress of technology away from their employees so you can focus on your business and stop wasting your time on things like, well, Arc, SPF, DKIM, and other technical issues. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at nexttechconsultants.com. You can also find us on all social media platforms at nexttechnt. I do have to tell you, as a normal user, so on a standard email server, most of us will never be able to do anything with this. This is something that Google or Microsoft has been implementing. And so you don't really have to worry about ARC protocol. But I know some of you are coming here because you read in Microsoft that there's ARC trusted sealers. And that's where I kind of was like, wait, how can you say there's nothing to do when I have to certify ARC trusted sealers? And I was very confused. So I wanna take this really long rabbit hole that I went down and I'm gonna explain this all to you in less than five minutes. We're gonna start that timer and we're gonna jump on over and I'm gonna start getting explained to you. The timer's gonna pop up right here and we're gonna start that now. All right, that clock is running. ARC, or Authenticator Receive Chain, what it does, it keeps your verification from SPF, DKIM, and DMARC all in your email intact, even if your message is forwarded or used by a third party before it gets sent out to your clients. For example, if I am gonna send a message to subscribers at nexttechconsultants.com, and that is a distribution list that I've set up, so when I email that, it goes out through my email, it goes there, hits my email server, then gets sent out. But before it gets sent out, Microsoft or my other third party provider puts a little thing at the bottom that says, oh, hey, you can easily unsubscribe here because if you're sending out messages in bulk, you wanna make sure there's an easily unsubscribe link. That has to deal with the Google policy that's coming out. I have another video on that link in the description. But like I said, when it sends it out from that third party subscriber and edits the email, and then it forwards it on. The email's now coming from a new place. So a lot of times that spells that doesn't work for authentication chain. So it breaks your DMARC records. And if your DMARC records are broken and you have a reject policy, then the receiving email server will block that email. So what ARC does is it wraps all of that up nicely with three headers. And those three headers keep intact all of the information from the original email. Those headers are ARC seal, ARC message headers, and ARC authentication results. So ARC seal is the person who is sending the email. So they are the person that has edited the email. And that's where in Microsoft, when you're like, hey, how do I get the ARC seal? And how do I make sure that we can move forward with our emails and we trust certain ones? So even though, it's in an ARC record, you can say whether you trust the ARC sealer or not. And so what they've done is they've edited the message somehow, and then they're putting their name in there saying, we edited this, we're the ARC sealer, and we're the ones forwarding this on for them. So let's say there was a bad third party person. You can go to Microsoft and you say, hey, my trusted ARC sealer is not bad company.xyz. So if anything comes from that ARC sealer, you can block it. And that's what the Microsoft ARC seal is. ARC message headers. This is similar to the signature of DKIM. So it's the original message that I send all of the DKIM records there. And then ARC authentication results is the third header, and that's a copy of the original email, SPF, DKIM, and DMARC results. What happened and what did we check? Did it pass and did it not? All right, like I said, for most of us, we don't even have to worry about ARC headers and ARC and all of that. But if you do manage your own email servers and you send messages through them, then you're gonna wanna make sure that your ARC headers are set up properly. So again, I'm gonna show them on the screen again. It is ARC sealer, ARC message headers, and ARC authentication results. And I do have a link in the description below that'll take you to a place that tells you a little bit more about this if you are an email sender. Finally, if you are managing someone's Microsoft or Google 
emails and you're looking for like, how do I trust an ARC sealer? What you're going to do is you're going to look in the ARC seal header and there's an entry that says D equals and a domain name. You're going to take that domain name and you're going to make that your ARC trusted sealer. And that's really all you can do as an end user to say, hey, I trust or I don't trust these ARC sealers. So as you're looking at this as an end user, if you're managing someone's email, that's all you really need to know. If you are an email server provider and you're actually building headers for emails that are sent out, then you need to make sure that you're wrapping the SPF, the DKIM, and the DMARC records all back up in a nice arc like Noah's Ark and send it off to the new email person. All right, in time. I'm pretty sure I made that in five minutes. I don't have the timer on me right now. I was like, you know, we're going to edit and see if I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you do have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I love answering your guys' questions. It's fun for me. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video as it really does help me continue to create content like this to help support your business. So until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a great one.